So can we go high again? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We are going to do that like, right now. Okay. You see, so. <coughs> well, uh, welcome. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. When somebody knows that he or she is supposed to be doing something and you are not doing it, you will face the music. How do you intend to make it if you don't study? How do you intend to be successful in life if you don't study? Let this be your last one. Let this be your last one. You are not going to be an ignoramus in my, in my house, are you? I don't waste my resources. Come on, vamos from here. Children of nowadays, what is wrong with them? Can I take a hayaki? Hayaki, call. Miduki. How does he intend to make it in life? No, somebody should tell her. I'm not, I don't take nonsense. Not in my house.
Who wants to be a success? Register now and you will find a chance to be among the successful people in the lab. My dear, hey, who can you think about it? <laughs> You're What am I thinking about? Who doesn't want to become a successful person in the lab? Hmm. So true. And as if we are qualified to affect Let's go for it. What is ya? You're welcome to this special show. You're welcome to our show, Who Wants to Be a Success? Our team scripture for this program is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8, which says, This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, so that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. So, I want to tell you, if you become the winner, or if you emerge as the winner of this show today, not only will you be a success, but you will be a good success. You will be so prosperous. Our second handcuff scripture for this program is also taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15 which says, be diligent to show yourself approved to God, a workman that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, are we ready for this show? Yes. Now, let me tell you the rules. You have only one lifeline, which is to call a friend. Do we understand? Now, your team will select from questions one to five, and your team will select from question 6 to 10. If you get your answer correctly, then you get the full point. If you don't get the answer or you are not, or you are not sure of the answer, you can use your lifeline. You only get the chance to use your lifeline once. Are we ready for the show? Yes! yes. Okay, so Team A, can you select your question? From numbers one to five, remember? Question three. Question three. Okay. According to the book of Romans chapter five, verse 17, righteousness is received as a word. As a gift. As a gift. Is that your answer? Final. Full and final answer. That is correct, you have said the number of no. Okay, Team B, over to you. Question 6. Question 6. According to Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1, what was your condition before you became born again or made your life? You were dead in our trespasses. You were dead. In the trespasses. Okay. For dead in our sins. Dead in your trespasses. Okay, in your sins and trespasses. Yes. Is that your full and final answer? Yes. Full and final. Yes. Oh, that is correct. We give them a round of Question one. Question one. According to 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone be in Christ, they are what? It's a new creature. A new creature. Creature. Is that your final answer? Yes. You are sure? Yeah. You don't want to phone a friend? A new creation. That is correct. You give them a round of applause. Okay, good. Cool. Tindy, over to you. What is your next question? Number six. You answered to number six the other time. Oh, sorry. Eight. Question eight. Okay. 
According to Romans 4, 2 to 3, God put something to Abraham's account when he believed, which he did not have before. What was this? Um, righteousness. Righteousness. Is that your answer? Your final answer? Yes. Righteousness was put to Abraham's account. That is correct. Oh, give them a round of applause. I love my teams today. They are so cooperative and I'm sure they made good use of the resources that were provided to them. Okay. Team Hey, over to you. Your next question. Number two. Number two. Number two. According to Colossians 1, 26 to 27, what is the mystery that was hidden from ages and generations but is now being Yes, but what is that mystery? It's a mystery. 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 Is that your answer? Yeah, that's your answer. Are you sure you don't want to phone a friend? No, no, no. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Is that your full and final answer? Yes. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The answer here is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Oh. Christ in you, it's the hope of glory. Over to you, Tim B. Can you give me your question? You've taken number six, you've taken number eight. Question nine. Question nine. According to Matthew 13 19, if we do not plant God's word into our hearts, what will happen to you? Remember, you have a lifeline, you can call a friend. You would like to call a friend. You would like to call a friend. Operator, please call Brother Isaac. Hello, Brother Isaac. Hello, hello. Yes, we are on the Who Wants to Be a Success show. And we have a question from the scripture that we'd like you to help us with. Okay. Right. According to Matthew 13 19. If we do not plant God's word into her heart, what will happen to you? The wicked one will take it away so it cannot produce in our lives. Okay. Are you taking that as your final answer? Yes. yes. The wicked one will take it away and it will not produce in our lives. Yes. yes. Is that your full and final answer? Yes. That is correct, Mr. Give them a round of applause. Okay, okay. Team A, over to you. Your question. Number five. Number five. According to John chapter 10, verse 10, what is the reason why Jesus came? What is the reason why Jesus came? According to the book of John chapter 10, verse 10. So that we can eat the love price and chicken in our family. It's something so that we can eat the love rice and chicken at Christmas with our family and family. Is that your answer? Yes, sir. Are you sure you don't want to phone a friend? That's the one of the easiest questions. That's our answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct answer is that, that we may have love and have it more abundantly. That is the correct answer. So at the moment, you have two points and Team B has three points. So Team B, your next question. Question seven. Question seven. Okay. According to 1 Corinthians 6, 17, the only way we can know the total transformation that's taking place in our spirits is by the word of God. What does this verse say has happened to us? It's, our spirit has joined um, with the Lord. 
Her spirit has been joined to the Lord. Is that your Pull and find out and see But that is correct. Wow, 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 wow. You are really in the spirit today. Wow, you have made my job here so easy today. So, Team A, over to you, your final question. Question four. Question four. Question four. Um, Joshua 1 8, which is the team scripture of this program admonishes the children of God to meditate on God's will. When should we meditate on God's will? Remember you still have your life to call of Okay. So the friend, um, Debbie's mom, that is yeah. operator, please call Debbie's mom. Hello, Debbie's mom. I'm here with my wife. This is uh, brother Timothy. Uh, we are in a, who wants to be a success program, and we have a question. Uh, we know you will know it. Uh, help us. <laughs> oh. um, Joshua 1 8 admonishes the children of God to meditate on God's word. When should we meditate on God's word? That is the question. When? <laughs> when? When is the better time to meditate? Ah, I always have my Bible at the back of my pillow. When I say spiritual attack, attack the attack. As in fire for fire. When there's an attack, attack back, Psalm 35. When you have spiritual battle, read your Bible. So, Debbie's mom said, when you have spiritual attack. Exactly. You know what? Is that your final answer? That is our final answer. Full and final answer. Full and final answer. She cannot decide. Fortunately, Debbie's mom has disappointed. That is the Joshua 1 8 encourages us to study and meditate on God's word both day and night. Not only when he has the ritual attack. Both day and night. So, Team B, over to you. Question 10. Question 10. Yes. This is your final question. Yes. It says, based on the word of God in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, what was the purpose that the Son of God was manifested? According to 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, what was the purpose for which the Son of God was manifested? To destroy the world of the devil. To destroy the works of the devil. Is that your final answer? Full and final answer. Get that meeting the winner of this program. Wow! Wow! Team B, thank you very much. You did so well in this program. So everybody, that means Team B is the winner of this round of who wants to be a success. Team A, thank you so much for coming. Um, I see that you tried, you tried your best, and you got two out of the five questions. Please make use of the resources more, and uh, I'm sure next time your performance will be better. So, Team B, you can come with me to get your prize for the day. Like, I mean, 
I don't I am understand you. I am confused. How oh, did no. they get answers to all those questions? Ah, they How? They are cheating. I agree. They have the answers. They are cheaters. They have the answers. They have the answers. They are cheaters. They don't cheat. I don't think they cheated. No. I think the truth is actually oh. very simple. They made use of the resources given to them for the truth. I don't understand. Which research should I get there? They are the lessons taught them in the week. So we got a different answer for mm. ours because they always attend the circumstances. And I adventure they are able to attend physically. They attend online. Besides, don't forget the amount of times I always advise you and want to go to the research. You always claim to please. Mm. And yes, I remember what my father once told me. Who's her father? Ah, uh, ah, uh, my dear. You know this girl. You have father now. You know. Calm uh, down. Uh, calm down, daddy. Calm down. Don't need a DNA test. Ah, uh, my daddy. I just want to touch your words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yet you are here, busy playing, busy but busy. <laughs> ah, ah, why are you talking to an elderly person like that? What kind of rubbish is that? Um, and I didn't mean to hurt him. I was only cutting his heart. Sorry, Jackie. Ah. If not because I don't want to be accused of other things. You would have given me the victim of my life, Abby. I don't see anything. Ah. Can you hear what you're doing? No, my dad. What does this one? He doesn't know it. It's not your fault. Mm. It's not, it's my fault. Yeah. Look, I will go and get multiple versions of the Bible. Exactly, my dear. I'll go and get them. Exactly. And you me as imagined. Exactly. Imagine. Let's go and eat, eh? So that we relax our mind. Uh -huh. Have you? Uh -huh. Good day, brethren. Are you a Christian? A born-again believer? The Bible says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You need the word of God to survive in this world that we live in. And how do you learn the word of God? How do you get it into you? By studying the word personally, there are a lot of apps out there that give you different devotionals. You can even buy the physical devotionals from Christian bookstores. But more importantly, attend midweek services like a Bible study where the word is being taught in depthly so that you have proper understanding. Also attend the Sunday services. You can join us here at Lysenta Bible Church at 469 Anne Road, Glen Austin, Midland. If you don't have a church, but if you do have a church, any time you're going for Bible study, either the midweek service here at Life Center, or even the Sunday celebration services, come with an expectant heart to learn the Word of God. Because it's the Word you have in you that you can use to your defense in the day of trouble. And for my friends out there, if you are not yet a born-again Christian, please become a born-again today. Give your life to Christ, accept Him as your personal Lord. Savior. Read the prayer that we will project on the screen right now. And as soon as you have gone to it, do it sincerely and I believe you come for Stay blessed and remember that Jesus is Lord.